Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today we'll be reviewing Dragon Ball Z Kai, Prince Vegeta, and some random action figures. But first, for anime week, we're going to do Prince Vegeta, look at the figure itself, but before we do that, we're going to talk about his history. Sorry, I just get ahead of myself sometimes. Prince Vegeta was one of the Saiyan survivors from Planet Vegeta before it was destroyed by Frieza. And yeah, he was one of the survivors besides Goku. Well, that's all there is to say for a bio on him. He had a wife that he married on Earth. Her name was Balma. And they had a son, which was half Saiyan, named Trunks. I don't own young Trunks, but I do own Balma and future Trunks. Well, now that's all there is to say for the video itself. Let's look at the figure itself. First on the list, we got Prince Vegeta looking all medicine. His hair has seen better days on this copy. Otherwise, he's mostly complete. Besides for a little hair damage. Bend at the knees. Which is pretty good for this vintage 2000s action figure. No elbow bends. Head moves. Arms move. But other than that, not much movement. But now for comparisons. We're going to dig out our other Z-Kai figures, which I already have out here dug out. Here is his wife from the H8 Figure Arts. It's Balma. And his future son, Trunks, from the future. With some other Dragon Ball Z Kai style action figures. I don't own a lot of these. This makes five I actually own. And Vegeta just decided to fall over <laughs> his rival and enemy. Android 18, also known as Krillin's wife in the future, after the androids, with his mortal enemy, Kakarot, a.k.a. Goku. And that's all there is to say for those comparisons. Now we're going to look at our random figures. First on the list, we got this mean-looking dragon, I have not seen this before, but I bet Bert has found this guy plenty of times in the thrift store. I picked this up just for my Dungeons & Dragons collection, because this is a cool-looking red dragon. I love that. No articulation, but he does move around quite a bit. And now we're going to look at the other dragon, since I got two instead of one. This one is also pretty cool. Reminds me of something I'd see in Lord of the Rings. Why not? It's just so cool. It mouth opens. Pretty cool. No articulation on these, so we're just going to toss them off to the side. And look at the rest of the figures. We got a dinosaur that reminds me of something from Jurassic Park, like a raptor. Look at how terrifying this thing is. And cool looking. Oh, this is so cool. Legs move, and that's pretty cool. Arms move. No mouth movement. So that's all there is to say for that one. Next, we got another dinosaur. This is a Triceratops with a buster head so it can, like, break through. And his head shakes. Oh, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Next, we got a figure that reminds me of a Disney gargoyle. I don't know what line he's from. He could be from Batman, or he could be from another line. If you know this guy by heart, then do me a favor and leave me a comment telling me who this guy is. But he does remind me of the Disney's Gargoyles, so I'm going to go dig out my Gargoyle figure. Where are you, Titus? I move figures around a lot, so I have to locate it and get it out just to find it. Um, apparently it's not on my monster shelf. Nope. 
I'm sure it will turn up somewhere. I guess we're not doing comparison because I don't know what happened to it. But yeah. This figure does remind me with the wings of a Disney gargoyle figure or something from Spawn. If you know, leave me a comment if I'm pretty close. He's got a button on his back, and if you pull the button on his back, his wings spanned out. Articulation, bend at the knees, pretty good. Elbows, pretty good. Head does not rotate. But it is a pretty cool monster, and I love some monster figures. Going on my monster shelf. Next we got this guy. He does take batteries, and I turn them on. His name is Blippy, and I don't know what line he's from, but he is pretty cool. Could be from a little kid's cartoon, but he's an action figure. He goes on my random shelf. He's cool. Articulation, he's got bends at the knees for this action figure. It's probably why I picked him up. He's got some joints here, but they're really tight, and I'm afraid of breaking them. Articulation is pretty good. Head can move, so I don't waste batteries. We're going to turn them back off. Because, yeah, he is makes a lot of noise. Definitely going on my random figure shelf, for sure. Next, we got a whole bunch of smalls. we got this cool-looking Ryan's World dude. Reason why I picked him up, he looks cool. we got this Ryan's World cyborg that reminds me of Cyborg from Justice League. Definitely going on my DC shelf for sure. That is just so cool. At least till I get a proper cyborg. Next, we got this block zombie, and he's like, brains, brains. Because <laughs> that's what zombies do in uh, Night of Living Dead. So, definitely going on my monster shelf. This is just too cool not to put on my monster shelf. Mr. Block Zombie. <laughs> Next, we got the Flying Dutchman from Pirates of the Caribbean, Jack Sparrow. That's my imitation of the Dutchman. And he has this gimmick. No articulation, but he has a gimmick. He's going on my monster shelf. We got this metal wrestler going on my random figure shelf. He's made of die-cast metal. That is just cool, huh? Going to be adding some stuff to my random shelf, that's for sure. We got another Roblox guy. I do pick these guys up, and this one's just weird. He's got an antler hat. That is just cool. Going on my video game shelf, for sure. <laughs> Next, we got a baby 2012 Ninja Turtle. Of Michelangelo going on my turtle shelf. I love some turtle action. Whenever I find turtles, it's awesome. Another Ryan's World robot thing that's going on my robot shelf. It's a robot bear. That is just cool, huh? Okay, we got some more figures. Next, we got my boy Stitch. You know I always pick up Stitch because Stitch is one of my favorite Disney aliens. So definitely going on the monster shelf, because Stitch is that creepy looking. Next, we got a Mario Princess Peach going on my Mario shelf. It's a Mario Racer bike. Peach. Going on my shelf. For sure. And we're almost done with this. Got another monster figure. It's a Treasure X monster skeleton. Going on my monster shelf. That is just so cool, huh? And last but not least, we got this one. This little construction worker going on my Batman shelf as a security guard. Because I use these for security guards. Because they make good security guards for my Gotham City Jail. And that's all there is to say for this video. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.